Hello. This is going to be an experience. never like easy to get my hair right. I can't look at it ahead of time. Is there something about this? <laughs> Thanks for the subscription with the prime subscription. The best sound in the game. I'm going to hear that later on. M68 Ken. Thank you. You could have used the Prime sub on anybody, but you only got one and you gave it to me. Thanks. Hmm. I hope you're looking forward to a whole lot of crazy motion sickness stuff. I'm pretty susceptible to motion sickness, so I might have to, like, sit way the heck back so that it doesn't make me uneasy. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I've had a couple games do that, specifically with like low FOV. This has a low FOV. There is a patch for it, but I didn't apply that because it messes other stuff up. Uh, so yeah. Also, hi Ancient. Welcome. Turn the preview off. Uh, this is also Normal Mansion because... I have to unlock Hidden Mansion on every single new, like, like, version, Japanese, PAL, everything. I've done that off-screen, but the novelty of this is that I haven't seen it before, so I didn't do that ahead of time. So we're gonna have no normal mansion stuff. I think I've played the arcade version of Luigi's Mansion. Maybe it was Luigi's Mansion 3. I think it's just, like, Luigi's Mansion Arcade. I... I I've sat down at a machine at least once, and I don't remember anything about it, so... I don't know if it's very similar. It feels kind of like... I don't know, it feels janky. That's the best way I can describe it, is it's just really, really janky. And it's not exactly smooth. It is... um... It, it's still, like, frame rate's fine, but, like, the way you turn is just a little weird. I also have a mod to, like, make it so I can toggle the flashlight. So hopefully I don't claw grip myself into oblivion trying to hold the flashlight off. Also, it's I've never played sidestep mode before in a run. Oh, we're dropping frames. Time to knock that down. Don't know why it went up to 8,000 there. Uh, so I don't know how sidestep mode affects movement too much. So we're going to have to figure that out as we go. But if I don't play it in sidestep mode, it's going to be unbearable. Because it's kind of like doing VR where you don't have control of where your head goes. Where it immediately makes you sick. So hopefully we avoid sickness. And if I have time, I'll play the Hidden Mansion version. We'll see. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. I have played up to Toad, so I could save. So do I stay in here? Yeah. So you can like move around this, just like the um, the speedrunning ROM hack. You can, like, look around the whole area. And if you've never seen... Oh, there's just black there. I didn't even know. <laughs> if you've never seen Egad's eyes... God, I can't look down far enough. What if I look at him dead? So you see those little dots? In the middle of his... Like, right above his nose and slightly underneath the glasses. They're not dead center in the glasses. They're, like, down here. Those are his eyes. They look like wrinkle spots, like on the side of his head, but those are his eyes. It's disturbing. Like, I always pictured his eyes being way higher up. He's just got little beady eyes. I think there's, like, I can get to the training room, obviously, but there's, like, other places I can get to. Can I miss with this? Can I go in here? Nice. 
This is the counter. I didn't want to go in here. There's nothing to look at yet. Take me away. Oh, he has to, like... <sighs> Getting out of here is a pain. a pain. I forget how you're supposed to get out of here. You have to, like, interact with enough stuff for him to let you out. Let me out, dude. What's a GB horror? I got trapped in here on, um... In the Japanese version. I couldn't read the text, so I couldn't get out. At least, I, at least this one's in English. Also think I can climb the ladder? Heck yeah. You can climb the ladder to go in the mansion. So the cutscenes are still in third person. Also, hi, Long Isor. Welcome to the mansion. Toad is over here, and he's happy because I talked to him. I guess I'll talk to the toads. Because you can see all of this stuff from Luigi's perspective through the Game Boy Horror. Which I guess is completely busted now? Oh no, it just... it's the exact same. It just doesn't put the filter over it. It doesn't look like you're looking through the Game Boy Horror. Oh god. Oh my god, the the R pumping for the booze is gonna rock the view. So like heads up. Oh my god, that's gonna get bad. Alright, let's see how much muscle memory can uh <laughs> can save me here. Oh this isn't this isn't in third person. This is cool. So you, like, to suck up ghosts? God, this is disorienting. Ow. Oh yeah, I have to toggle. To suck up ghosts, you basically just hold back the whole time? Ah! Ah! Got punched. Because the ghosts are always away from you. Hey, Aiden. This is... very disorienting. There's also no key pickup animation. Mario. I wonder if I could have done the, uh... The map glitch. Can I still look at the map? I can. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe I should have played around with that FOV thing. Oh. Give me the double. Didn't get the double. <laughs> okay, what's next? It's these guys, right? Oh no. Pull him away. Don't get punched. They also, I think, doubled the damage in Hidden Mansion, so I take 10 every time I get hit. Instead of 5. So I might actually die. Mario. God, the toggle on... Yeah, the toggle on the, uh... The flashlight is gonna mess me up a lot. Oh dear! Everybody's here. Look at the guy, dude. Oh, it's disorienting as heck. Heck. Where is the guy? Ah! 
Ah, I got punched out of it. I'm gonna die in room two, aren't I? I have no way to judge how far away from ghosts I am. Where's the green guy? Okay, got him in one pull. It's like playing Metroid Prime. It's just... <laughs> Whoa, that's trippy. Oh, the mirrors. Whoa. Okay. The mirrors are like... Pro I'm pretty sure the mirrors are programmed to work off of where the camera is, just like the shadows. So having the camera low to the ground makes them look really weird. Yeah, some kind of marker on the corners of the screen would be nice. Mario? Like a grenade in indicator in a first-person shooter. Mario. I think there's still heart drops in places. Whoop, there's money there. There's one. Mario? Okay, honestly, the, the boss ghosts might be the easiest part. Just like in PAL, they didn't change much, but there's also, like, not too much different other than just pulling away from the boss for the boss ghosts. Because the gimmick has always been, how do you get them to show your show their heart? that guy because I can. Oh, there's no animation for picking up anything. Where'd that mouse go? Get in there. What did I suck up? There we go. Oh, where the frick is he, dude? He is everywhere. I'm just staring at the number. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have no idea if this is controllable. You can probably run something uh, in Dolphin to make it work with keyboard and mouse. It wouldn't be like mouse aiming though. You probably have to, it'd probably be like playing Doom on a keyboard. Hmm. Where you have to move with like the arrow keys or something. Okay, we're pulling her over here because I have like so little control over where I go here. Nice. I have very little, like, I c it's hard to tell if I get doubles. Much easier to tell if I can get the, the boss ghosts. I kind of tell where I am. Oh, the mirrors trip me up. Mario. The baby. Wonder if I can do Chauncey one cycle. <laughs> That's just the new meme every time. But can you Chauncey one cycle? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. We're doing the fancy thing. I'm the ball's in the way, dude. It's like over here, I think. That might be good. Nice! Get the ball, dude. Get the ball, dude. Heck him up! Scene skip. Oh, it still got me. 
Oh wait, no, it still gets you after that. This is gonna be wild. This is a cut. Oh god! Those are just there? Where's Chauncey? Oh, there he is. Oh, because it like pans around and looks at Luigi. I see. There he is. After the initial shock value of, oh, this is really disorienting, it's been not that bad. The more I run around without look, like having to flip the vacuum on and off. Let's see if I can line this up. Oh my god, I got it! I didn't get the one cycle. <laughs> I have no idea if it's even possible with the angles I'm doing. So we're gonna see the DLC. And I wonder if you could patch PAL version with this, with like some minor adjustments. Ow. Give me my money back, dude. I think I'm damageable again. I lost the ball. Heck him up. Chauncey's so much easier to pull when you don't have to worry about, like, tracking. Oh, yeah. Just keep holding back. Oh, I wonder what the... the portrait cutscene's gonna look like. Surely that's gonna be first person, right? Oh god. What am I looking at? Is the camera in the wall? Oh, there we go. No, it's not the first person. This is interesting, so far. I think people have actually speedrun this before. I think... Because in the change log for the... For the mod, there was... Oh, I got a gold... or a bronze frame Chauncey. I haven't seen that in forever. Uh, in the change log for the mod, some they mentioned... Oh, there's the nose. <laughs> That's weird. They mentioned making the Hidden Mansion back to double pull strength for speedrunners. I haven't seen the bronze Chauncey frame in forever. I don't even think I knew what it looked like. Send me the mansion you got. I assume the reason that's not in first person is because it's an actual cutscene. And there's no actual camera in the world. It might be, and not necessarily pre-rendered, but something like that. The portraits are determined... Where the heck am I going? I'm going to the washroom. Bathroom? Bathroom. Oh, he spawned. Didn't scare me. I don't know if you can get scared in first person. That changes speedrunning a lot, actually. Um, so the frames... Let me catch these guys first. <laughs> Nice, got the double. Normal ghosts frames are, or normal portrait ghosts like Neville and Lydia are, the frames depend on what pearls you get. So if you get the big pearl, you get the gold frame. It's based on how much damage you do in, in one pull. For the boss ghosts like Chauncey and Bogmire and them, it's dependent on the health you have. So if you have 90 or more health, you get the gold frame for those. The mirror room is probably going to give me a... Like, a headache. 
if the mirrors are weird in there too. Things aren't spawning, like, even though I'm not looking at the right spots. Do I go in here? I think I go in here. I'm all turned around. I always loved this cutscene. I never watch it anymore for obvious reasons. Especially the boss door ones, because they're all special. Nice, we got one double. Can we get early release in this? This actually isn't that bad anymore. The small rooms really mess it up. We got a second double. I don't know if I can pull him all the way in though. Where's the other guy? Okay. Oh! We're speed running hard. God, the guys that spin really mess you up. If I get early release, I'm gonna laugh my butt off, dude. They gave it to me. I wasn't on the spot. Um, that noise he made was the early release. I wasn't on the spinner, though, so they didn't give it to me, I think. Come on, guys. I think I messed up twice. These guys, not, not great. Show me your heart, please. There you go. Do they share a heart? I actually haven't noticed that before. I think they do. Oh, I didn't get them. I have not tried the, uh, the 3DS game. I don't, I never owned a 3DS. So I never got the chance. But I'm pretty sure the hidden mansion in the 3DS game is pretty much exactly like PAL, maybe some small changes. And like the way that keys work and the way that you get, I think Mario's items might be slightly different. Maybe not just in hidden mansion, but overall. These guys suck, dude. I haven't two cycled them in forever. There we go. There we go. But in terms of difficulty, I think the Hidden Mansion on 3DS is pretty similar to PAL. I'm very excited to see two-person one controller as well. Okay, I'm gonna get the poster skip. Look at the guy. You can't stop me. I, I'm not gonna do it fast, though, because that's hard. Ah! Shaking ghosts off with sidestep is weird. Can I set this up? Oh, nope, I got grabbed. Ah, I got punched. 68 health, we're not going to be able to see 69, sadly. Take too much damage for that. Oh, the speedy spirit. Oh, he's not going to get caught. <laughs> Room's lit up. All right, poster skip time. I hear it. Let's go. Whoop. Don't push. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, I don't get to watch this? Oh, I do. Okay. Oh, I didn't know the Bulosis was... The Bulosis being different was only a PAL thing. I figured they would put that in the 3DS remake. That's the best part. Why am I running? Is it, does he run in that cutscene? No, he stays by the button. Why do I run? Is that added? Interesting. Oh, hi, King Boo. That's probably why, so that the camera angle works. 
Luigi was also the best part of Luigi's Mansion 3, so... That's neat. I never got to mess around with Luigi's Mansion 3 co-op. Or, yeah, it's, it's co-op. It's not the same. It's like a... Oh. Something making noise. Uh, the, like, the multiplayer in Luigi's Mansion 3 was... Kind of like... Like you did runs or something. Like it, re it was like a roguelike. You reset it and went through again and again and again. Okay, Toad. Oh, nope, we go upstairs first. Okay, the booze- catching booze is going to be pretty sickening. I can already tell you that. Eh, it could be worse. It could be worse. Looking forward to the breaker boo one cycle. Did I get all the money out of here? I think I spawned it and never got it. I think I spawned this stuff. And I got sick and left. Mario? Nope. It's a shame you don't have, like, Luigi's nose in the center of the camera the whole run when you're playing this mode and it's just, like, bouncing. That's the true first-person mod, where Luigi has no field of vision because it's just completely obscured by his nose. Like, look at this! How does he see anything? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's in the middle. Oh, it, did it move? Hello? I opened that. I'm confused. I think there was like, amongst the speedrunning people, who got into Luigi's Mansion 3 speedrunning, I'm pretty sure they did a whole lot of Scarescraper stuff, but I was just... I never bought it. I borrowed Luigi's Mansion 3. So I never got to experience all that. Yeah, I'm not getting scared when I'm running around the dark hallways. It's weird. I need to pay more attention to, like, random crap. Why does this look like Benedict Cumberbatch? because I can't see anything else. Most of these portraits, I think people think they're just renditions of some of the ghosts in the game. Like some of them look like, one of them looks like Neville. One of them looks like the twins. Oh boy, gotta get over there quick. Luigi also tends to, like, auto-lock onto a lot of stuff. Booze are one of those things, so I'm curious to see how... How, like, banana peels and other stuff is gonna mess me up. Both? I think they're both over Oh god, I triggered him accidentally. I think Breaker Boo might actually be possible. With the way I've been able to move around the booze so far. I'm mostly saving a lot to prevent a crash, or to, like, lessen the, the problem in the event of a crash. Mario. Hello, Toad. Mario. Let it swirl down to the depths and- oh, Toad, I want the key, dude. No. I'm gonna open it this way. There. Later, Toad. Mario. 
Where's that mouse? Mm -hmm. So the first guy spawns up here, that's right. Uh, B? As many times as I've done this room, I still don't remember where the first guy spawns. And I look in this mirror all the time. And I'm just waiting on this guy. Yeah, this mirror is pretty weird. It's not, They're honestly surprisingly usable, though. Oh, I didn't hit the double. This, the movement to get this double is kind of involved. Ah, depth perception. Okay, maybe this one. No. Hit him with the flashlight, but didn't get the devil. I think the uh, the hidden mansion mode in this. Ah, didn't see him. Heck, the hidden mansion mode in this mod also removes hearts from like random drops. You have to get doubles. He's over here. Yeah, having to spawn ghosts with your back turned is quite unkind for. Like setting up doubles and stuff. Open the chest, Luigi. I did the skip. <laughs> Just trying really hard to get it. He didn't ask me to save. Oh, because there's not a pickup animation for it. It triggered first because Luigi didn't do the animation for catching the boob. I see. So I did the right stuff, it's just, it's not possible. Because the fact that he does the animation on catching the boo first, or he picks, he picks the thing up and then he catches the boo. And then he get, talks to him about the boo. He never does the, uh, the, the pickup animation for the, the fire medallion. This feels like a perfect, like, weird game marathon speedrun. If somebody actually picked this up and optimized it and made it watchable. Because there's honestly some cool tech that you can't do in base Luigi's Mansion. You don't get scared. But the problem is it's probably still optimal to not use, um... Sidestep. Oh, frick. I'm not gonna be able to get this fast enough, am I? Ah, I can't aim. It's very sensitive on the C-Stick. Hey, friend. Like, there's not a... What do I call it? Oh, aiming to that mouse hole. I got it. Nice. Pull him into the corner. Didn't get hit by the mushroom. Oh, don't want to spawn that guy. Well, I spawned that guy. Guess I'm not doing the mouse hole skip, am I? Yeah, I think there were, like, green guys... Like, in the pipe room. There were some green guys in here, in the courtyard. In the PAL version. Where is the key? It's, I can't even see my feet. How do I open this? There's a lot of those guys. There's some in the kitchen, too, if I recall. There might be pink there. 
There's mice in the kitchen. There's mice in here. But there's, I think there's more. Oh, yeah. That's just sickening. Go into the tornado. Okay. If I hit the triple, I'm gifting a sub. Oh. It's not perfect, but it's something. I hit the double. It's not worth it. Not enough. Very close. I almost had that. That dollar was stuck in the ceiling. That room actually wasn't that bad. I, the only problem I had was trying to get to... Fast! You just suck up the treasure and go. Oh, it's the American version. You can't do the skips anyway. That's right. Because they patched the mouse hole stuff in the American version. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, I went two rooms away. I gotta do the whole thing again. I forgot I didn't finish this room. Yo, that's a big heart. Nice double. You have to move like a robot in sidestep mode in this in this like you have to square yourself up and then like turn around deliberately you can't combine it with a lot of left stick motion or it really messes with you oh yeah depth perception stuff like hearts is way easier. Dang, this hallway's pretty long. Thank god they took away boot view bobbing. Like they didn't put that in the game. Because if you just attach the camera to Luigi's head, you'd get... you'd throw up in the first three minutes. He bobs his head so much. There's a poster over there? I didn't know that. I don't think I've ever looked at that poster. Heck, that poster. Oh, isn't there something in the piano bench? Maybe that's blackout only. I think I got something in here in the blackout. I thought that was one of those things I came back for, though. She's not actually looking at Luigi. She's, like, cheating towards center stage. Like, she's on stage. She's cheating towards the audience. Her lips bother me. You don't really notice them from far away, but she has, like, mottled lips. It's weird. Yo, that was the fastest music sheets I've had ever. Oh, she's going backwards. Get in the vacuum, Melody. So who did I mess up? I messed up the dancers, of all things. Oh, it's in the piano. I'm so glad that normal mansion boos aren't twice as hard. Like, boos take the same amount of damage on normal mansion, which is a strange thing. 
but it makes playing on normal mansion bearable. Imagine if you had to four cycle some booze with at best. That would be so painful. I actually have plenty of fire. How'd that happen? He did drop a gem. Okay. He's like, that guy only dropped money. Not a lot of it. Okay. Light the candles. See if we can lock onto this thing. Perfect. I haven't caught the uh, the guys that bring him the food in a very long time. Oh, I need the. Wait a minute. How do I how do I get this? Let's open that. He is in here. He's not in here in the blackout. He wasn't on pal. Oh my god, that angle is so much easier to hit. Just like uh, slightly look at the uh, refrigerator, and nail it first try. The mouse is random. Oh, there's a mouse in Lugs' room. I forgot about that one. I don't really know where all this stuff is. Off the top of my head, I've only ever gotten it in the PAL version that once. I'm gonna have to figure out all of it in for max percent, though. Oh, he went in there. Buddy, I just want your mouse. Wait, it's not here. I don't see the cheese. Maybe it doesn't, it's not there anymore when he's mad. That's interesting. This is a big guy. His head clips through the ceiling. I'm surprised he fit through the doors. He pulls really hard, so I wanted to make sure. Oh, it's on the far chair. I see. I'll have to come back for the black for that in the blackout if I want it. Mario. Mm. I'll have more than enough money. Never found this guy. Is he back? Oh, he's over here now. Oh my god, he went back in the cha table. Really? Rude. Well, I guess he's a ghost. He can just go through walls, which... Strangely, only a couple ghosts in this game are shown going through walls, even though it's like a staple of a ghost -like behavior in any other media. Oh, I gotta aim way down. Don't bite me. Ole! I can't turn. I can't turn. I'm stuck. Can I go back through the door? I can't turn. I straight up can't turn. I'm locked. Something about getting hit by Spooky messed it up. This is why we save. I can turn with the the normal controls. Can I go back to Toad and save. Mario. 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 Sounds like the the guy is still throwing bones at me all the way over here. That's weird. Mario. Yeah, I still can't. Reload. Now we good. Mario. Hmm. Mario. I'm going too fast there, or trying to go too fast with intentional damage, I guess, busted some stuff. Mario. Hmm. Okay, let's not get hit this time. That is not the door. 
I need water. Oh, it's already water. It's actually a lot scarier when you how close he has to get in first person. Don't bite me. Ah. I wonder if I can one cycle bog player. Because he, he can't really take me out. I've actually looked in this in this room a lot in the first person cameras because I was curious of how it like looked. I don't think you can scan this to get back out. I think you're stuck here. Maybe you can scan it to get out after you beat Bogmire. If you want to come back here. Wow. Oh, the other guy threw a bone. I'm trying to get that movement right is a little particular. Ah, didn't mean to have that on. He's still going to have the problem of he just pulls so hard I'm going to fly off, but I honestly think it, it might not be so bad. Okay, don't hold anything. That probably still is a thing. He's clipped into the floor. The camera angle, I think, is like looking up at him. Normally. Oh, that's actually pretty creepy. That's really cool in first person. So was the Chauncey thing, but this one was better. Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, he goofed all the way up. He's all the way over here. Oh, it's normal mansion. There's no way I one cycle him. <laughs> I forgot. So Bogmire's spawn position is like dependent on where Luigi's standing, how Luigi's angled. It's it's really, really easy to mess up. So I'm sure the first person stuff messed up some stuff with where the camera is. Area two down. I'm pretty sure it's technically possible to one cycle Bogmire in normal mansion, but it, it's not easy. I bet Nintendo could make a puzzle game where Egad is like a playable character. Some kind of pr Professor Layton type thing. Where he's just being a goofball doing science stuff in his lab. Something like on the scale of WarioWare. Could be cool. Because I don't think he's ever been playable. He's been, he's like tagged along a couple times. But he's always been an NPC. If Toad can be a playable character, then Egad deserves one too. Oh, the nose. Luigi Vision. Gold Portrait Bogmire. And I got hit. 
I'm actually making up for the lost pearls with all the gems I'm getting. Pretty well. I still have plenty of money. Alright, one more toad to save. this room out. I like clearing this room out. Ew. Doing a hundred percent in uh oh god that's a really dark hallway. Oh this cutscene's first person too? That's cool. There he is. <laughs> Doing 100% in this version is probably interesting because you don't have any pickup animations. So all the money that's typically slow is not slow anymore in these plants? I think there's just random money, right? Gold bars and stuff. There's also a ton in this statue, if I recall. I bonked it before. It's... Nope, not today. It's... There's not. Not enough water. Alright, listen, clown man. Like, you don't have to pick up the letters with an animation, or the letter with an animation or anything. That's just neat. Isn't there a guy over here? I think there's a guy over here. Maybe not. There's two guys over here. I only saw one. Where's that guy? I have no idea what the optimal way to catch all these dudes is. This guy doesn't want to spawn, ever. Do I have to be close? I think I had to be really close to make him spawn last time. I want to see this area lit up. It's going to be pretty. Oh, almost got the double. Heck. Maybe there's not a guy over there. Surely there is. Ow! Oh, fire doesn't, like, lock you in an animation, either. Neat. Oh, I got stuck again. I'm, like, perpetually walking slow now. Alright, let's save Toad. I can't bonk anything. Like, I've lost the use of my hands. Yeah, I don't know what... If I could see, like, Luigi's animation right now, maybe with the shadow I can figure out what it looks like. What do I look like? I'm just, like, moving slow. Alright. Reloading. This is going about as well as I thought it was going to. It's, it's a little janky. surprisingly robust though like it runs like a dream I'm also Mario. I mean I am running it on an actual Wii so we'll see how the lag is but I don't think the lag exists if you don't like run it off of a disc I think primarily the slowdown is disc loading I missed a couple I'm activating the neurons in my brain for max percent. There he is. 
Biff's really big too. He's like clipping his head on the ceiling. Get up there, Luigi. Nope, not today. You get so many more poison mushrooms on Normal Mansion because you can't pull fast. The fights last longer. First diamond. That blue is Al. Yeah, right in the screen. Get in the vacuum, dude. Frick. Alright, I gotta get this key first. Oh, this is really finicky. There we go. Maybe I can convince him to go back into a room I can go into. Oh, this hallway's lit up. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, I need to get hit by a, a mushroom to see if I shrink. I wonder... I bet I could check for that gold bar as I walk by in an actual speedrun. It's probably not that useful. And I reloaded so I don't have water. Mario. Maybe maybe I can make one spawn in the cellar. I think they spawn when the cellar is lit up too, so I can just like keep reloading it. There's a lot of them in the cellar. Oh, I'll have to look out the window on the third floor too. Mario. Hope I remember to do that. Because there's like a special camera thing when you look out the windows that like zooms out and everything. So like right about there. Nice. Mario. Can I catch the ghost? Oh, mouse, gimme. Oh, I made the guy spawn, didn't I? Nope, not that guy. Where is the thing? On the floor. Lost him. Am I crazy? Didn't get the mouse behind the thing. Where's the ceiling thing? Do they not exist? Is there one on the ceiling? No. Did they take them out? I was looking forward to get on the ceiling. I need to start saving after the booze. How the heck am I supposed to get up there? Mario. Can I just like shake it with the... No. Luigi, what did you do? There's just straight up not a, not a thing on the floor. Luigi? Hmm. All right, let's go catch Nana.
Wait, I want to catch the guy in the chair. Also a guy who refused to spawn in the blackout for me. He drops like no money, dude. That was pitiful. Okay, now it's actually like Metroid Prime. Except I'm pretty sure you don't shoot grandmothers in Metroid Prime. Maybe you do in Prime 3. Oh, let's get hit. Maybe I did get hit. Maybe I got hit by a small one and that's why I was walking so slow. Because that was pretty much the same movement speed as I had earlier. Camera doesn't change though. And the good spawn, because of course I get the good spawn. Okay, let's see if that other room is still janky. Because if it is, I'm going to need to find an alternate way up on the table, or I'm going to be softlocked. Um, can I get it from behind? No. It's the chair. That's not good. At all. That is, I think, the only time I ever need to get on the ceiling. Mario. Let's check the mod page. Eh, let's keep the timer going. Nothing in the README or otherwise. Hm. Well... This is an awfully silly way to get soft locked. <laughs> if I could just spawn it. Let's go talk to Toad. I have seen somebody beat this mod. I've seen them beat Van Gore and the rest of the game. So they got there somehow. Whoa, that was weird. Popping in. Insight into how the game is loaded. Alright, Toad. Save me. Once again. Mario. I need your assistance. I'm in the lab, it completely despawns everything Mario. else. Mm. Go straight there. There might also be an action Mario. replay code mm. uh, that I can use mm. to just get ice mm. in the event that I can't mm. here. Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Mario. 
I don't know of another way to get on that table. Without, like, having ghosts to damage you, and even then I don't know how. Huh. Alright, let's go do some other stuff. And if it requires an action replay code, I will... Oh, I need fire first. Let's get that running. Hopefully there exists a, uh, a cheat code for that. That would be like one of the first ones to find, I think. Is how to unlock all the medallions. Well, I definitely didn't get the angle. Unless, no, maybe, maybe the first person's gonna make it weird. Oh, it did make it weird. Nice. Yep, careful now. Couples are really hard if I'm not, like, squared up in the room. Eh, I can't... Oh, the flashlight's toggle, that's why. I'm like, I'm doing the right buttons. I wasn't doing the right buttons. Look down, he's too short! <laughs> Trying to spawn in that corner, I think. Whoop, where'd he go? Oh my god, he's actually too short. <laughs> there we go. Final boss, shy guy. He's too short. He cannot be beaten. Oh dear, they didn't go the right way. This room is weird. I toggled it, I swear. Oh, get off. It's so much easier to tell exactly which furniture the boo's into, because you're always completely sure of where you're, like, facing. Mario. Hmm. Well, that's cool. I've never actually looked at this room in first person with the camera before. Let's Google the issue. Yep, oops. Everybody's just like, this hack is great. Play it. <laughs> Alright, am I gonna be able to moonshot? I can't, I don't have my... <laughs> I don't have my visual cue. Eh. I can't even see if I hit it. Yo, first try! Luigi forcibly looks away because he's too cool to watch the explosion. What a glittering beauty. Mario. Hmm? Mario. Hmm? All right, let's Mario. check the room again. Hmm? 
I, uh, I think we have a problem. No floor panel. I'm still not out of things to do, but it doesn't appear to be spawning. Alright, let's go do some other stuff. What the? Oh, I haven't beat Petunia. Can't go there. Mario. Hmm. So I've got the brothers, and that's Mario. like it. Oh, and all the booze in here, I guess. Let's go hear the best mm -hmm. sound in the game. They are... Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, God! I'm just gonna leave him there for a second. I'm finding nothing about it. What's that room called? The tea room? I don't know what I'm missing. I feel like... I don't know. <laughs> I think I've seen enough of him. This is going to be really scuffed. Spawned him. Get this guy out of his truck. Uh, don't get dive bombs now. That was actually pretty clean. I don't think I got any money out of it. Nice, he got stuck in the wall. That furniture was way more red than I remember it. I thought that was the door. Where am I? I'm so turned around now. Okay, Mario. this is the right one. Ow! I got destroyed. Mario! 
Turbo. Can I do the tech skip? Oh, yeah, I have way less booze right now than normal. I don't know if I can get bad text. Okay, so we pull this. Nope, that ain't right. Pull that like that. There we go. Oh, I. S mm. Reset. Does that reset with just a leave? It does. It's going to be really hard to line up. No, not nearly close enough. Alrighty, Toad. What is your take on this situation? I will reboot the game if it doesn't spawn this time. And if that doesn't fix it, I will look for uh, a cheat code, perhaps. Still can't get up there. Well, that is a really silly way to uh, <laughs> to make me get stuck. Hmm. Did I not shake it? I swear I haven't shaken it yet. All right, I'm gonna reset, restart the game completely. And uh, be right back. Music, Luigi's Mansion music or something. Noise. I guess that's the full OST. Sure enough. Ninja. God, that's loud. Okay, we're back. Let's try this. Mario. 
King Boo's most diabolical trick, putting something on, like, a chest-high table. So that Luigi can't get up to it. It's a good thing he doesn't know how to jump. Because boy, if he did. And... we're still screwed. Well, time to Google. God. This is dumb. Huh. I just love debugging all of this in the middle of a stream. Ready? Well, I wish I could like force a way to spawn an ice medallion. Like, maybe one of the, like, maybe the thing that's I'm have enabled to toggle the vacuum is screwing with stuff. Like, maybe I could try loading it without that, I guess. Let's try that. Material. I'll be right back. I gotta restart this. <laughs> Send it my way and I will...
post it on social media later. I've never messed around with save file stuff. The only thing I've ever messed around with is like getting the practice hack working. Okay, so let's try this with cheats off. So I'm not gonna be loading my toggle. There was just an easier way to get up on the table. Mario. Okay. My toggle is off. It would be hilarious if that was the actual thing. I doubt it is, because that's just a small thing. Nope, still not here. That is wild. Why would they not be here? Oh, yeah. And I can't... I can't get up there. <laughs> Mario. I think you can open chests from the Mario. side, but not from underneath. Mario. Mario. Man. This is quite rude. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, I know how to do gecko codes, so if I could load one for that, it might help. But even that's not... I might be stuck. I might be stuck. <laughs> I could try, maybe I could get like an older version of the hack, and if the, the save file transfers between them, I might be able to do something. I just don't know enough about hacking this game to really go for anything. I don't think so. I feel like this game just saves the same way as it always does. I can't get on the table to get the ice medallion because the flip switches are gone for some reason. And I've done everything else and I've tried to reload the game and it's still not working. I'm cooking up another idea in my head that would involve me loading, like, loading the same save file in another version of the game. And then reloading this version with the Ice Medallion collected. I'm going to try that because I honestly have no other better ideas right now. 
the flip switches were not visible when I walked in, as soon as I walked in, period. So the idea is to get the base game and name that the same thing so that it will share a save file. But no, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm hoping it's gonna work. We're gonna we're gonna cross our fingers. Do some copying here. Sylvie. She's been so adorable lately. Yeah, I didn't foresee this problem being... Like, this specific problem. <laughs> How could I have expected this? Yeah, this is going to take a minute <laughs> have to copy some stuff onto an SD card. Yeah. I'm going to keep Googling because I don't know what else to do. Like, I found a lot of codes for the game, but I don't know how to load those without, because I was just given a a GCT file to load with the with the ISO that I have. And I don't like action replay codes are useless to me. I honestly think the one the idea I have right now has merit. Sixty percent done. I'd load the um the practice ROM because I know how to spawn elements in the practice ROM, but I'm scared that's gonna actually mess something up. And the way I see it, that most of the save files of Luigi's Mansion should all be kind of indistinguishable from the console's perspective. Oopsie. Why does F2 not work for renaming files here? Like, it works everywhere but this dialog. Okay. SD card's ready. Eject. Okay, load it back up, and we'll see if I have my save file. Because if I have the save file, I should be able to modify the save file with the other version that actually will have the flip switches. Yeah! It doesn't recognize it as its own thing. Idea.
Let me do. Mm, let me do something. Frick, I did the wrong thing. Heck, I'll be back. Ugh. It wasn't saving to the memory card there. Or it wasn't saving to the uh, SD card, it was saving to the memory card. I'm gonna swap the save files. Since they're not called the same thing, I'm gonna have to probably rename the save file. This has just been a great adventure. All right. So I can show this. I prefer not to show me hacking the crap out of my Wii so that Nintendo can come out of the woodwork and... Wait a minute. This is the same thing. This is the file. I might have something here. Maybe the save file is tied to... the folder name. This is the file I was working with. Did I do it? Oh, I'm still in sidestep mode. Disgusting. Are there flip switches? There's the thing. <gasps> Progress? Perhaps? Luigi's so happy. I gotta go save now. Okay, that actually worked. I cannot believe that actually worked. I kind of believe that actually worked. <laughs> so what I did was the hacked version for the, uh, the first person mod is in its own folder in the directory on the SD card. So I replaced the file with a plain old Luigi's Mansion file. ISO. Okay, let's swap them back. So I'm gonna rename, rename it back and put the hacked version instead again. Fingers crossed there's nothing else that bugs out like that, because... That's the only place I have to get on the ceiling, and that's the only weird gimmicky room like that with the ceiling. Uh, fuck Rusty. So... This needs to be something else. And then this needs to be the original name. Everything in there, good. Eject. Put it back in. I am playing on original hardware. I try to pride myself. Well, there's the homebrew channel. You know, you know what I'm doing now. I didn't hide it this time. Oops. <laughs> I try to pride myself on playing on official hardware constantly. And as the, as the game I speed run, it's a little hard for me to play Luigi's Mansion not on an actual console because I'm just so familiar with the controller. All right, moment of truth. I've tried to practice with a Xbox controller on 
dolphin, and it just isn't the same. The muscle memory does not translate. All right, do I have the ice medallion? Mario. Let's go find out. Let's go! <laughs> Mario. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself. Mario. <laughs> Let's go. Mario. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Now watch there be floor panels. Nope, still not here. I went in and heisted the ice medallion from another version of the game with the same save file. I'm so satisfied. This guy requires ice, I think. Let's beat this guy up as a celebration. He needs water! Get me out of here! Okay, I'll go beat him up in a second. Oh, the timer. Frick. Thank you. All right, Petunia. I went through great lengths to ruin your shower. Oh, she's pulled so strong. Friendly reminder that Petunia pulls the hardest of any ghost in the game. For some reason. Same as a blue ghost, which I think is tied with like a couple other things. She dropped like nothing in the tub that time. Can I get water out of this thing? Why can't I get water out of the shower? Mario. It's done. I can get water out of here though. Right? That's the whole reason that's leaky. Yeah, there we go. And then the chest that has, like, nothing in it. It also spawns sideways. I don't even know which way it spawns. It spawns that way. Okay. Thank you for bearing with me on the adventure of a lifetime. Did I pick up? I thought there was a gold bar there. I guess I ran into it. I didn't hear the noise. Okay, do I actually need ice anymore? I think that's the only thing I needed ice for. And I got her key. So I'm going downstairs. Mario. <sighs> I'm still riding the high of actually having progress now. Get to go see the rest of the game. Mario. Mario. Oh, shooting this guy is going to be so easy now. Knock on wood. Where's the purple one? Gimme. One cycle, let's go. Wow, Slim is trivial because you, you just hold backwards. His, he doesn't pull very hard. It's the angle that's hard for him. And, like, you're always spot on with the angle in first person because you just hold backwards. Whoa. Have you locked all that stuff? It moved. Did it move back over here? It did. Okay, we're definitely saving after that. Let's let's do the ceiling fan for the heck of it. Since I did the other ghost. Oh, I see Benedict Cumberbatch over there in the corner again.
that's a hundred percent. Like, that's that's definitely a thing. It's not just me. Maybe it's like a particular way he's looked at some point in his life. It's not just him in general, but he's absolutely rocked that goatee before. Ah! Ah! Want to see if I can get the triple in here? God, it's hard to tell where they are because the uh, the projector is like showing me over here, but they're not just over there. Nope. Ah. Darn it. Hard to tell how close they are. You also can't see where they spawn. Because your back is turned, it's the same problem where they're completely invisible as the mirror room. Oh, I only got two. Starting to use my brain more with the uh, sidestep mode, setting up doubles. Oh, I, I, I flashed him twice. Luigi couldn't suck him up, though. Look, that room was a little tough. Really in no danger of dying in non-hidden mansion mode. There. Like at the very start I was, but I think I've just been getting a lot of random hearts from checking stuff for money. That I've pretty much been at full health the whole time. Since after Chauncey. Glove acquired. That's the last thing I need because I went and did everything else. I could have warped out. Have I warped? I've warped. I warped out of Lydia's room. Okay, now we get to do the mashing in first person. Oh no, don't suck her up yet. Oh my god. It's gonna flick the, uh, the flashlight on and off every single time I hit the B button for this. It's much easier to see that she's like wearing a scarf or just like a face covering. Because if you look at her dead on, it looks like a very large mouth. And uh, everyone else that's played this game probably has seen that at some point. That's not hair, though. She's wearing a, a headscarf, too. Her hair- is that- the white part is the hair? I thought she had purple hair the whole time. Mario. Hmm? I'm always looking over it, like, in the corner, trying to mash my heart out during this part. I never actually get to look at her. Luigi's just sitting there saying Mario. Clear Voice is like, yes, Mario, I'm telling you about him. Mm -hmm. Luigi just knows one word. And oh yeah, when he uh, talks to Toads, he says, oh yeah. I wonder how catching her is going to be. Because she's different than all the other ghosts. S see if I like do it the same way. No. Nah. nah, you just wiggle the C stick. Same thing. <laughs> it's complete chaos. Complete chaos.
Dang, that room was actually really fast. I can't believe we're gonna get out of Area 3 after all of that. It's gonna happen. Okay, finally come back in here. I wonder if... No, that wouldn't be it. It's like the chest key. Like the chest spawning not getting shown to me. I was wondering if that was maybe a, a reason why the other things didn't spawn. He spawns really in far in front of that table. I thought he was like right in the center of it. There's so much stuff on this table. It's actually not that much stuff behind it though. I thought there was way more stuff back here. That's surprisingly easy in first person. All the hard movement where you have to like track with the C stick because you don't know exactly but you don't know exactly which way you're looking. It becomes really easy when you can see exactly where you're looking. Alrighty. Onward to Bulosis. See what that's gonna turn into. Oh, I'm going to be able to, like, line up the shot straight through him in first person. That's going to be amazing. The sound. Um, maybe maybe I can visualize the way the fight works a little better if I can see how they're scattering. That's honestly super useful to know. Random mouse, perhaps? There's the sealed room. I always picture those boards looking different. A little wider, perhaps. No random mouse. Mario! How did I get a banana peel? Where did that come from? Wait, I'm confused. It's this guy, right? Why isn't he spawning? That's weird. Artifact of first person, I guess. Maybe I was in his spawn box. Let's see if we can line up the double. Nah, he's just not gonna spawn. Darn it. Darn it, Luigi. Feeling the uh, the FOV, tiny FOV in this room. Ah, I don't have the flashlight on. All the muscle memory for like quickly flashing ghosts and sucking them up is hard to get out of my head. Alright. Boo time. Nope. Didn't get the mouse. Always forget that one's there. This is probably a good way to find out where all the cheeses are, if you don't already know. Alrighty, here we go. There they are. This place is huge. I don't have water. I could I could water the plants and get the uh, the fake crown. Oh, they're all looking at me. Oh, and then they're gonna be all around me. Poor Luigi. Doesn't he spin while this is happening? Normally he spins. Oh, 
Oh, he's not gonna look up? Oh, that, that could have been so much better. How is he not gonna look up? I went the wrong way. I need the ice ghost. Where'd he go? You. All right, there they are. They're lining up. Ah, took my time. Not a one cycle. Bouncy boy. I guess it's technically a bouncy collection of boys. Oh, I got one. They're gonna reform, aren't they? Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can do the, the technique to get them to die fast. I think this is three left. Hard to tell by the size. Ow. They're not announcing when they're charging at me. I don't know if that's busted. Nice, got two. Might have to shoot them with uh, ice. The hard way. Two left. Imagine this in the PAL version. Oh, there's three left. Darn, I thought that one was going to be good. How was that one not good? This feels like a Metroid Prime boss. <laughs> You're actually aiming and shooting? There we go. Nailed him. Oh, come on, buddy. How did he dodge that? Oh, got him. That was a good boss fight. The introduction could have been better, but... Because I had to shoot him... And they didn't, like, announce when they were going to uh, charge me from behind. It made it different. I like that one. Bowser's probably going to be cool, too. Because you have to shoot Bowser, too. King Boo's going to be weird because you still have to do R-pumping. But, like, doing the wiggles to keep him in, in place while dodging the ice balls is probably going to be cool, too. I think that one's going to be good. What else we got? Clockwork Soldiers isn't going to be special. Weston is going to be interesting, I think. That'll be a cool boss. Cool portrait ghost. Soupy. I'm not one cycling Soupy. Bowser's going to be huge, dude. Maybe I could insta-shot him. I, I can't. No way. This cutscene is like such a tiny part of the screen in this mod. In the normal game, it goes the entire vertical length of the game. But it's like running this inside of another section of the, the screen for some reason. Because now it's the whole, whole vertical width again, or ver vertical height. Did I get a gold frame on everybody in this area? I did. Well, almost. King Boo's gold or Boolossus's gold frame doesn't matter. Anymore. The slightest, though. I'm gonna be swimming in money. 50k for 50 mil. How does that room look from this door? Because I always go down. How do I come out of this door? 
Am I perfectly centered? There's no way it's faster to go down, right? Especially coming back. Because you want to go in the left door. On the way there, so maybe I could see it on the way. There's no way that's faster going down. It's a loot explosion. That was the least... <laughs> cinematic way to pick up that diamond I've ever seen. I'll at least look at the next one. Because I go through the left door here, and then I'm already right here. There's no way it's faster to go down in front of the table. That's such a minor time save, but I, I've always wondered that. I think I'm pretty sure... Top side is faster now. Okay, I think I remember where the fake crown is on the balcony, but I'll look for it. I think it's on the right, like the first or second section of plants. There's a lot of stuff up there. Most of it's small. Should have picked that up when I played PAL. That would have been a good thing to go just... Because I went back and did so much stuff during the blackout. Luigi the Gardener. Is it over here? Nope. That's actually valuable. Nope. There it is. Red diamond. It looks really valuable, doesn't it? It's the same thing you get at Boo King Boo's crown. Only other one in the game. Worth as much of a m worth as much as a coin. What else is over here? Okay, there's two green ones out here. I think you can predom predominantly get green gems out of watering plants. I think most of the things you get out of most of the gems you get are green. Heart. I wasn't going to get the doubles on the, uh, the skeletons later anyway, so... Running out of water isn't that big of a deal. Oh, I am not facing the right way for the blackout. Dang, we don't get to see the giant lightning bolt. Because it happens above Luigi. Oh, he doesn't get scared anymore, though. This is actually so much easier. Because you don't get stun-locked. There's the door. Or the window. Get out of here. I want to look out the window. There's nothing. It's just black void. Well, that's disappointing. Because if you look out the window in... Normal Luigi's Mansion gameplay, it zooms out the camera and, like, shows Luigi looking out the window. I don't think I want to go do anything in particular during the blackout. Mario. I just did that last week. I guess I could hold the flashlight out, that would help. Even though nothing seems to be spawning anyway. Alright, Grimly. What's your policy on being nice today? Oh, not too bad. Not great. Yeah, mushroom. It's a shame you can't look further down, too, without holding the vacuum out. Then you can, but not not normally. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I go up 
and right now I think that the phone might ring until you kill the blackout completely because EGAD calls or a toad calls first I think a, a toad calls and then EGAD calls so you can save there's just no reason to go over there in, uh, in any run actually of Luigi's Mansion I'm pretty sure you don't get anything extra from going that way Okay. Nope. Oh, he's not gonna charge. No. I was a little ambitious for thinking I could do the breaker boo one cycle. What about this thing? Oh, I spawned the random guy. The speedy spirit. Oh, well. That guy's gone. Double, 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 double. No double for me. Ah! Got him through the wall. Yeah, they're gonna be extra worse in them. Um, first person, probably. Or extra bad. This guy actually wasn't so bad. It seems like I'm not having as many problems of the booze double cackling in first person, which is weird. Oh, no, we actually still got a lag in this room. I didn't know that was still a thing. Maybe they actually just fixed that on PAL. I'll have to see what the armory room does. That's a light. I thought it was a pearl. Mario. Hmm. <laughs> Forget how many dollar bills I ended up with at the end of the PAL run. I think it was like Mario. close to 900 or 1,000. I almost had four digits, I'm pretty sure. 26 gold bars. A lot of them were from outside, I think. The seams on the floor are really apparent going the opposite way. Like, they're not that visible, because it's like... The seam is slightly higher on the right here. The edge of the rightmost part of the seam is higher. Probably to cover it up a little more. Because if I look at it from this side, it's really hard to see. You can only see it on the rug, really. noises in the lit up room. Pretty sure that was just holdover from the dark hallway. Is that the actual moon? Or is that just a made-up moon texture? It looks like, kind of like the actual moon, but it looks darker. Like there's too many dark spots. Alright, I don't have the water, so I can't set up this double. I actually have a surprising amount of control over where the ghosts pull me. I have... It's not in here. It's the other one. I've been able to drag stuff to certain like sides of the room pretty consistently. Like, to get into a corner. You hold diagonals to like kind of turn yourself. I always like looking for stuff like that, where you you figure out if it's the actual moon to see if Mario's universe like is the same universe as your own. Like when they added the uh, the Mario Kart tour map to the latest Mario Kart 8 DLC, it's like the Berlin map, but you like race around the Berlin Wall, which means that World War II happened and the subsequent and everything else. Which is just hilarious to think about. And I'm not going to be able to stay in the corner, am I? I might be able to. 
Is he gonna bump me in the face? Ah! Where's Green Boy? Nope, I don't want Blue Boy. Where's Green Boy? Okay, Green Boy is slacking. He missed once. Don't miss me. Or don't hit me. Give me the pearl. I got the pearl. Guys that spin, like these guys and the twins. I didn't really see it on the first two, but that that last guy did a lot of spinning. Just round and round and round. Oh, that's just a fade out, yeah. Also, ah! I didn't know they could spawn that early. Post him up. Fried shy guy. Fry guy. Wait, that actually is a dude. It's a Super Mario Bros. 2 enemy. No double. Whoa! Oh yeah, climbing a ladder. Not climbing it back down though. <laughs> If the Shy Guys didn't want to get burned, they should have thought about that before they started dancing around the fire. Like, see that? Awesome! Boo catching. Excellent. Let's see if he double cackles. Okay, yeah, that's still a problem. Mario. Okay, so the attic boost is still gonna suck. Uh, it's this one, I think. Don't get punked. It's not that one. What the frick, Luigi? I c cannot hit that one. There we go. Oh, I didn't turn the flashlight off. There's no way I get the triple in here. There's zero chance. I'm gonna try my little heart out though. Okay. Flashlight off. This one first. Gotta burn him. Yeah, we're already screwed up. I can't tap that thing. It's not really a triple if I burn the first guy to pieces before I even trigger the rest of it. God, I can't see. Ow, I still got punched. I didn't even get the double from that. Okay. This room's weird. Like, Luigi locks onto weird things in first person. It's hard to figure out what you're bonking. And you can't trigger those things to spawn out of the armors without actually touching it. You can't just use the vacuum. At least this room's not unbearably laggy. Oh, you double cackled. Come on. Get in the vacuum. No! He had like 2 HP. Mario. 3 or 2. 
Go down. Alright. At least I can catch him now. Okay, we're gonna get everybody. Even if it kills the Ouija. Hey, boyo. <laughs> you know, I was making fun of Melody's, like, modeled into her 3D model lips, but Jarvis has so much more going on. I love Jarvis. He's the best. Nice, I don't have to wait for that animation. <laughs> He's just a blob who lives in a jar. Well, I guess multiple jars. Everyone else has a complicated backstory. Then there's Jarvis. I think that's six. Nope, that's seven. Hey, boyo. <laughs> that's seven of me, boyo. Okay, Jarvis is weird in first person. He's doing the weird thing where he moves. Okay. Normally, like, hold a direction and force him to go a certain way, but he's, like, back and forth in you the whole time in first person. Well, ow! I spawned a heart. Where'd that go? Oh, did I trigger the slow walk again? Oh, that sucks. This is the worst possible place to trigger that to happen. Oh, I can't open doors! I'm stuck. Did I save? I think I saved. I can't. I can't do anything. Yeah, I'm stuck. I think I saved in the armory room. I think getting hit have made it happen again. All right, we gotta go talk to Jarvis again. Because I can't just walk to a toad. Mario. The coin count and the bill count are exactly the same. I didn't plan that at all. Mario. All right, so in the, in the realm of jankiness, the fact that I've had to reload like four times definitely like knocks it down a couple notches. The fact that I had to go on the like reverse bottle adventure shenanigans to get the save file to work knocks it down several more notches, but this is honestly still a good time. Just happened to softlock myself in the lar the farthest room in the game away from me. I think the sealed room might be slightly farther away. This one's a close second, though. Cool. We already got this guy. Just don't spawn another boo ball and run into it. Get to see Jarvis's lovely face again. Octopus boyo. Gonna treat it like the uh, the Ocarina of Time, like archery mini game. Actually lose though. I stopped doing that. Oh, I got double. 
If you miss one, he gives up. Or he kicks you out, so I didn't want to lose. Nice, did he spawn the poison mushroom? Luigi's like locking on the hearts behind me and just ruining the camera. No! No, he went the wrong way. That's rude. At least I can get out of the room this time, though. Boomerang. Let's dance. Not there. One fifty did pretty good. Oh no! No! Oh, that sucks. I have to go make sure he comes back in here. Because if he goes all the way in the ceramic studio again, it's going to be painful. And there's very little chance the other guys get away. I didn't hear the double cack. Oh, Heck, boomerang, dude. Finally got to save after Jarvis. Mario. Hmm. Mario. Hmm. Mario. That was a creepy looking head on that table. I have never seen that in my life. I need to go get a second look at that. something else in the table. It's the other guy. Oh, I saved and quit. So he got 300 health again. That sucks. So he, he did have a chance to go out the wrong side. Yeah, that is... I can't turn the flashlight on, but yeah. That's that's quite creepy. Mario. Mario. Almost out of the attic. creepies in here. It's like broken toys and stuff. Nothing on the level of the doll head. That's messed up. He just falls like 10 feet and teleports. He doesn't actually fall that far. Mouse? No mouse. Mario. 
Mm -mm. Oh, I didn't get him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Get over here. Gotta trap him. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard. Slowly creep up on him. Gotta go up the stairs. Eh. Oh no. Don't you get away. Oh crap. He reacts to when I look at him. Nope, nope, he's gone. That's a good spot. Stay over there. Luigi's a natural hunter. His prey drives off the wall, off the, off the hook, off the charts. That's what I'm trying to say. I know words. so shiny in here. I've actually never looked at the door either. Hmm. Nothing really of note here. It's just a shiny room. Okay, so the breaker boo healed as well. Cause I saved and quit. Mario. Oh, I thought I was doing okay. I think I just lost him. Mario. The lag. Mario. You know what? I'd prefer if you go this way, but that's actually okay as well. Because I really can't make him stay in this room. I appreciate being able to turn the flashlight off with a button press and toggle it, but it's also really hard to remember if it's going to show back up, like if it's going to turn back on. When I'm done catching a ghost, because sometimes I press it. This pipe on this it looks like a vine with flowers on it. Oh, skating around is fun. Nope, he's all the way over here. Come on, Buffon. Be nice. Owie. Yeah. Mario. Really hard to tell how far away I am. Actually care which way he goes. I'd actually prefer if he goes that way. Now I can catch both of these, both of those guys at the same time.
All right, Weston. Hey, buddy. He turns in the ice. I guess he moves in the ice too, which is just as wild. He's so jittery, dude. Just holding on for dear life. Hoping I don't get hit with that mushroom. Wow, he's won two mushrooms. Alright. Got my pearl. Nice, one cycle. Maybe I should try to catch him from the left. Since he tries to move up and to the right. And that would give me a little more insurance, depending on where he moves. Okay, I think I got the key, so let's get out of here. Are there things on the ceiling in here? I don't see any flip switches, period. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. Definitely was a bug earlier because it soft locked me. Are neither of them over there? Now there's one over here. There's a mirror in here. I didn't know that. Oh, there he is! <laughs> it sneaks up on you. It's just like he looks far away and then. Oh. Where'd that guy go? Okay. Let's go finish this. Okay, I know where I am. I was so turned around for a second there. Super turned around. Mario. Mario. I have fire Mario. straight in here. This is going to be loud. I think the sound changes. Yeah. Burn him up. Oh, they didn't group well enough. That guy took an extra five damage because I flashed him, or I hit him with the water weird. That was almost really slick. There she is. Luigi looks left and right in every room, no matter wh where things are. Like she's dead center. Right there. Alright. Odds on me one cycling soupy. Definitely like in the low 10%, I feel.
Yeah. That's about how I expected it to go. I just could not influence my decision, like my movement at all. Yeah, th this boss fight feels really hard in first person. I, I don't know how to dodge the puppets unless I just get lucky. Three cycles. I don't even think I got a medium pearl. All the pictures on this room are crooked. In this room are crooked. Not on this wall. All on this wall. There's also a kitty. I don't think that picture is anywhere else in the game. I haven't seen that one. That's interesting that all the pictures are crooked on half the room. It also looks like the bed has a Christmas tree on it. Don't get hit by that. No, don't go that way. Go outside. Stop. Leave. I don't know where they went. They're in here. Eh. Get outside, dork. Dude, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Bolivia. I hate him. Okay. Double time. I'm not looking high enough. I didn't know how to look any higher. All the portraits in this room were crooked too. Which I guess makes sense because it was locked off completely as well by the sealed room key. That's a nice touch. It's weird that that's only on the back wall though. There's also a lot of weird pictures in here that I haven't seen in a lot of places. I wonder if these are very, very pixelated versions of fam famous paintings. Like this one in particular right there. Looks familiar. Just couldn't look high enough to get that other one. Okay, Van Gore. See how well this goes. Yo, I'm at 69 health. How'd that happen? Perfect timing, too. He doesn't even turn to address Luigi. Oh, he does at the end, I suppose. He's just monologuing and then he turns around. I got two. I had all three and then I got bumped. Ouch. That's a rude dude. Look at the ghost, dude. Alright, I don't think sweeping the the flashlight is a good idea. I think I need to, like, do this. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of slow cycles here. I'm gonna get the fireworks, aren't I? Maybe not. There they are. <laughs> I couldn't get that one HP guy. Especially in first person, it's hard to make ghosts face Luigi. Or like, it's hard to single out one of the ghosts if Luigi's not facing it. I'm a little higher on these guys. Oh, I got more fireworks. Frick. Thought I'd turn that off. I love the ghost designs in this game, dude. 
both of the sequels like do not have the same charm. I only got two. It's not just the low poly. Eh, uh, not aiming the right way. It's not just the low poly feel. There's, I don't know. They feel creepy. They also just have more personality. They feel unique, especially the grabber ghosts. Luigi's Mansion had some good, or three, had some good designs. There were just too many little blue guys. I love the name of the basic enemies in Luigi's Mansion 3. They're called Goobs. And the equivalent of golden mice or golden goobs. And I love that. All right, that was less than impressive at the end. I did okay in the middle. There we go. Hey, buddy. Everybody's so tall. You say I'm the only one left? That can't be. My minions. You've beaten all my minions. Nice, nice. Getting the keys is definitely... It'd be nice if they could just like play the, the audio cue. The sound of picking up the keys, because I missed that. You just kind of unceremoniously pick up everything. Ah, couldn't do cycle him. I think ghosts are supposed to put, uh, they're supposed to make, like, ectoplasm, right? That's the equivalent of waste. Oh god, I really don't want to despawn that gem. <laughs> oh, careful with that save. Here it is. So shiny. I thought I hit a fake door there for a second. I haven't seen Ghostbusters in forever, but I'm pretty sure like the ghosts, all the all kinds of ghosts in that series produce and involve themselves in a whole lot of disgusting things. Like if they don't just like throw ghost ectoplasm at people, they like eat food and stuff too. And then, like, puke it up later or something. Talk to Toad. I'm on the way. I think I'm gonna have enough money. I have a million gold bars. But I've missed several pearls, so it's actually not out of the question that I'm gonna get close. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be under, though. Because I had 50 at the checkpoint instead of 43. What the heck? Mario. The door handle on the other side of the door didn't go away. Hmm? What the frick? It's just there. <laughs> Do you not actually open that side of the door? Is it two distinct hmm. objects? I think you just phase through that part of the door. Hmm? And it just... okay. <laughs> if that's a thing in vanilla, I haven't noticed it. All right. This might be cool if he gets sucked in from the perspective of Luigi. He's so zoomed out. <laughs> oh, he's turning around. 
the Luigi's not turning around. Oh heck yeah, that was cool. He didn't turn around because like, he Luigi's looking backwards during that. That was cool. He gets like s slowly sucked in. Look left to right. Always check both ways before crossing the street. <laughs> Super Mario 64, like, first person would probably be cool, too. Where you just put the camera on Mario. God, the side flips would make you sick. Ow! Alright, buddy. Just miss, why don't you? Oh, this is awesome. Look at the head! And the ice balls come right at you. That's so cool. We're going to see a lot of DLC in this fight. He intentionally missed. Just like uh, Bogmire, the, what happens in this fight is tied to Luigi's spawn point, so it gets weird if the camera gets weird. And he didn't hit the pillar on the first shot. God, that's cool. Like, the way that you can see the head all the way up there that you normally can't see it. Oh, he went below 200 health. It's going on backwards. <laughs> Guaranteed spike balls every time. Good distance. I like how it looks at you with no pupils, too. That makes it. I haven't gotten hit. I haven't gotten hit by an ice ball yet. I don't know what that looks like. <sighs> Poor cycle. Yeah, there's invisible walls where Bowser won't let go. You can hide from him way up top and way down low. He won't actually bump against the edge of the, the room. In Japanese, they're weird. And you have to be pretty particular about not making him bounce um, right in the center because he doesn't collide with the, uh, the invisible wall around this door at all. And he'll just like walk in infinitely into it if he doesn't. <laughs> there we go. Skip, skip. Skip all these splits. Well, I think, I think it finished, <laughs> and I think I clicked through it. <laughs> now I get to count the money. I think I have enough. Oh, do we get to carry Mario in, too? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> right through the door. That's awesome. Egad comes up to Luigi's a waste. And then this is gonna be, yeah, normally. So did it remember what I finished it at? Yeah. No. Split time. This was not a 115. What do you mean, no? <laughs> Oh, this is the, uh, this is the comparison. Well, frick, I don't know what I just did, because it's still comparing against- I still- I copy these splits off of a different set of splits. So it's got my old PBs and everything. Let's compare against the latest run, I can do that. It, it'll remember that. This is gonna look like nonsense. Um, in the layout, because it's already cropped and everything. Uh, compare against the latest run. 2.21.14 was what the latest run was. Mm -hmm. 
I need to have a default, like, just a timer split to copy off of for all that stuff. Okay, who did I not one cycle? I got Natsu P, definitely. Yeah, gold bronze portrait. Got gold on everybody else, though. And King Boo. I guess missed King Boo. All 23. 11 million dollar bills. I guess they're G bills, because there's no dollars here. Lots of greenies, because I watered so many plants. Only missed two large pearls? Did I dupe one? What did I miss? There's 19 total. I missed three, didn't I? No. No, I only missed two. I missed the dancers, and I missed Soupy. I think I got every other one. That makes sense. 111 million. Time for jams. Well, I didn't run the timer through the, the nonsense. But I still cut the three even with the, uh, the getting soft lock thing. I scienced it out and still, still made it happen. <laughs> I'll never see this cutscene the same way. After seeing the image of Mario inside the machine with his head shrunken down so that he fits. This was a really good, good time. I have no interest in doing Hidden Mansion. I thought I would. I have no interest, especially after the save file shenanigans where I couldn't get the ice medallion. I wish I could have done Hidden Mansion first try through, but it loses a lot of the novelty if I did that. Maybe I could have like forced it on with a cheat code or something, but I didn't have the time. Altogether a good time though. I wonder what the FO because the mirrors look jank anyway. That was the main thing that was told was written that the FOV mod would uh, mess with, but they were already weird, so I can't imagine that turning the field of view up would have been that w that bad. It probably would have made it a lot more, a lot less sickening. I didn't really feel sick, but it did get kind of disorienting where I just had to not focus on anything, except like the number of the ghost self. And I was already, like, deep into Area 2 when I was considering putting it on. I don't think I could, like, repatch. Well, I guess after the save file shenanigans, I would have confirmed that I could have repatched the game and substituted it with the same save file. Good time. I don't know how many other good weird mods for this game there are like this. I think there's a couple ROM hacks for like new mansions or areas or stuff. <laughs> but the modding scene for this isn't tremendously big. I'll have to scroll through them again and see what I can find. Because this was great. Perfect way to spend a Sunday. Co-op? Is that a thing? Is that a thing for sure, or is uh, is that a question? Because I have no idea. Oh, there might be a proof of concept. I imagine that would have to be like net play. Some way of connecting two people to the same game. Right? No, I think I when I was honestly when I was looking around for 
fixes to my problem today. I was I saw a couple like split screen multiplayer threads talking about that. So maybe it's not. Now I just need somebody <laughs> who would split screen it with me. Maybe I can convince a certain someone. Good time. Overall. Yeah, Hidden Mansion makes this a lot harder. If I ever want to come back to it, like in a year or two, it might be interesting, because I'll completely forget everything. It'll be kind of new again if I wait long enough. And making it hard to the point where I have to get doubles might be interesting. Honestly, it's just kind of fun to walk around. The, the catching the ghost part was not the best part. The, uh, the exact opposite of PAL, kind of, kind of. I enjoyed PAL way more. Still the best ROM hack. Alrighty, I'm done. <sighs> I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna be back Wednesday. Let me check my calendar. For uh, more Spirit Fair, and then I'm gonna do practice in Luigi's Mansion all leading up to uh, the Saturday, the eighth. Gonna be speed running Luigi's Mansion 100% at Corathon. There is um, actual material, but like social media material that I'll be posting and reposting in a lot of places. So. Be on the lookout for that, and hopefully you can tune in. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to that marathon. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.